that as we bring in 23 ABC's Allison Gargara. I'm also looking forward to uh, nice temperatures this week. <laughs> I know exactly. And actually, Condor's game going to be a nice place to cool off because temperatures are only going to be warming as we head into the rest of your work week today. Maybe a nice relief from that heat that we were feeling last week due to an onshore flow that is bringing some gusty winds to our mountain and desert city. 74 degrees right now here in Bakersfield. It looks like our roof can moving just a little bit there, uh, but we are feeling those slightly below seasonal temperatures due to that storm system that made its way through the region yesterday, but clearing out because we are seeing nice blue skies here in Bakersfield, but 14 mile per hour winds. And as we continue to track that system that made its way across Northern California earlier today, that did bring some clouds that are going to be banking up in our mountain communities, but that is all going to be clearing out as we head into the later portion of the week. The big story today are those strong winds. The strongest actually going to be through the passes into Hatchpee, looking at 21 mile per hour gusts right now, as well as down into our desert cities. The strongest winds that we are tracking at this hour, 36 miles per hour at Jawbone Canyon, but these gusts could be reaching up to 50 miles per hour, and that means that wind advisory that we've been tracking will be in effect until midnight tonight. So make sure that you are driving safely if you are planning on heading through the passes, but thankfully that nice fresh air is going to give us good air quality tomorrow. So today we were in the moderate range, but tomorrow an AQI of 47. So right on the border there, but it's going to be a beautiful day to get outside because temperatures not going to be too bad. Again, we continue to track those strong winds today, but then high pressure begins to dominate on Wednesday, and then that means sunny and stable conditions for your Thursday and that warming trend actually going to be continuing through your Saturday. So 79 degrees tomorrow, which is right on track for average for May 1st. Then those sunny skies on Thursday up to 84 degrees. Looks like the warmest day of the week going to be on Saturday with the high of 88, but we do see those winds picking up as we head into your Cinco de Mayo. It's going to drop temperatures just slightly and then tracking a system that does bring the potential for some rain here in Kern County on Monday and Tuesday. The best chance for that is actually going to be in Tehachapi and Fraser Park Monday night with some lingering showers on Thursday. But again, we'll be tracking that as we get closer as for temperatures tomorrow in the Kern River Valley, 74 degrees, 64 in Tehachapi as well as in Fraser Park. And then they're going to be warming up to the 70s. So like I said earlier, we're going to be back to just below 90 degrees, but just in time for the Condors game. That's, so you might yes. as well cool down. That's perfect. And then go inside. The rink is cold. It'll cool you off. It's perfect. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Coming up next, Kathy.